As you all may know, I love editing my videos in DaVinci Resolve, and one of the things that makes my life super easy is using the markers within DaVinci Resolve to really quickly create chapters for my YouTube videos. It makes it so that I don't have to go ahead and mark all this kind of stuff up manually and create the list. It's all done automatically. And in 18.5, one of my favorite methods actually changed a little bit. So I thought I would go ahead and show you a couple of ways that you can really easily add chapters to your YouTube videos when exporting from DaVinci Resolve. All right, so I opened up one of my relatively large projects here. It's got a bunch of markers on it. If you didn't know, the quick and easy way to add a marker is just to double tap M. You can go ahead and add a marker wherever you want. You label it whatever you want. I am a marker. And done. You can change the colors. I just leave them all to default blue. Now, one way that you can go ahead and automatically have your markers added to your YouTube videos as a timestamp is when you go to deliver, if you deliver using the YouTube, you can actually go ahead and do chapters from markers. So this is a really simple process if that's the way you wanna go. I don't usually use the YouTube uploading. Um, I like having my stuff saved and then uploading it manually, but this is a really quick and easy way to add those chapters or timestamps from your markers. So the way that I like to do this is if you go ahead and go to your index, and I only have the blue markers on here, so my index is just gonna be the blue markers, but what you would wanna do, just to make sure, is you go to show markers, and you just change it to blue, so now it's only gonna be the blue markers. And in the past, you would right click on timeline, go to timelines, and go to export, and you would export your edit index from here. Now that feature is gone, and it's in a much more reasonable place for it to be, it's actually on the edit index now. If you hit the three dots on the top right hand corner, you go to export edit index and I export it as a CSV. And we're gonna press save. It's gonna overwrite my old one. That's fine. Now, if we navigate to that folder and I go ahead and open up that, that CSV, you can see that it kind of has everything separated and not in a very easy way for you to bring into YouTube. So I actually created myself a macro that would go ahead and combine the in and the notes in order to give me my timestamps really easily. So I just press this little button up here. It goes ahead, it combines everything for me, <laughs> super easy. And then I can just go ahead and copy that. And if I were to, I would just go in here and throw that in. And you can see I have my new marker in there. This is a really easy way to add those chapters onto your video. It makes it so that it's not really much of a problem at all. And especially for the types of videos that I put out, having chapters can be super helpful for people who are hoping to just get to a certain point, or if they're going back and rewatching, they know what point they wanna to get to. Chapters are great. And having this feature in Resolve makes life pretty easy. So I hope this video helped you out. And if it didn't, I hope you at least found it interesting. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you like subscribed. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, you can go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. Big thanks to my patron sponsors, Thoughts Lime and Step Back, and thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you do want to see any of my other regular tips and tricks videos, you can go ahead and check out the playlist right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next Saturday.